Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zachabane101, and welcome to Attack on Titan Wings of Freedom. I've been playing this game a crap ton in the few, past few days with my buddies, and it is absolutely fantastic. So much fun to play, and uh, so happy to finally be doing a Let's Play on the series already. So, let's just watch this little intro cutscene, and I will get back to you guys in the menus. And of course, always in epic fashion, very fun to see the intro to Attack on Titan Wings of Freedom, although I don't believe they kept that subtitle name. They kept it in the Steam name, but oddly enough, uh, removed it in the full title. But regardless, this game is still a badass. It is a ton of fun, and I'm so excited to be playing it. So let's go to the options real quick, so you guys that are interested in picking up the game will know what you're getting if you do pick it up. Uh, I bought this myself on Steam when it was a little bit on sale uh, at the initial release, which was kind of nice. So it was about $56 Canadian. Not too bad. Uh, but you'll see on the graphics settings, uh, we have full screen on or off. Uh, display resolutions, there's not actually too many. My monitor only goes to 1080. Uh, so I can't tell you if it goes higher than that. I know Nvidia has special things that let you go higher. Uh, and it doesn't let me do that with this either. Um, and then we have movie playback on or off. Then under, under quality, you have uh, some presets, high and low. I turned off motion blur and depth of field, makes YouTube videos look a little bit nicer. And also motion blur, not really a thing that I personally like that much. Uh, then we also have uh, am ambient occlusion, I believe that is. Effects quality, reflections, radio blur, and all that. Uh, the game runs really, really well. You don't really need a powerful PC. I believe I read a Steam review that said a 670 still runs the game very, very well. I'm running a 970, it seems to be running pretty well as well, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, and we'll be playing on the hardest difficulty here, uh, so we can have all the challenge in the world. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply those settings, make sure that we are on that difficulty. And let's go ahead and uh, go to options, I believe we have to do that to start a new game, so let's go load. Or wait, how do we... Oh, there we go, yeah, you go into options and hit new game, there you go. It's a little bit awkward how you create a new game. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Let's uh, start a new game of Attack on Titan. And we will save over slot number... Let's go with number one, because I don't use that one anymore. That was my test one. There we go. And do you want to save the game? Sure. Alright, sweet. Nice. Now we can go. Now we have Levi in Expedition Mode. New caution for Aaron is available. This is all uh, the... If you buy the game early, you get some of this stuff for free. It's just like uh, cleaning gear or something like that. It looks uh, like some of the stuff from the second half of the season. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, attack mode. Let's do it. New game.
奴らに支配されていた恐怖を鳥かごの中に囚われていた屈辱を。Okay, so there's a little bit of an intro to the game, and here's some publicly available information. So let's read this before the game loads up. Wall, the three gigantic walls that surround humanity's domain. Each wall is named after a goddess. The outermost wall is known as Wall Maria. The middle wall is named Wall Rose, and the innermost wall is known as Wall Sina. The royal、uh, capital, where the aristocracy lives, is located in the center of the walls. Each of the three walls has protrusions. Where cities have been built to the north, south, east, and west. The walls are approximately 50 meters tall and are armed with wall mounted artillery operated by the Garrison Regiment. ここには役立たずしかいないのか一体起動装置を扱えないやつは、おとりにも使えん。他の連中も聞いておけ。今の貴様らは、せいぜい巨人の餌になるしかない、ただの家畜。そんな貴様らに、我々が巨人と戦う
all the way up to like 50 meters or something like that, and then uh, the Colossal Titan that's like 100 meters tall, but we won't be fighting that guy. At least not yet, hopefully. And as you can see there, I missed because positioning is very much an important thing. You see the little... Oh man, why am I missing? I don't know why that is. Uh, oh right, it wants me to switch between parts. Ah, that makes sense. I know I wasn't actually missing. It said I wasn't doing anything. So use X to fire a new anchor. So, okay, we did that. Charge forward with no inputs. Okay, you got it. All right, we have to use boost for this one. So boosting allows you to instantly go to that supersonics uh, phase instead of having to reel in your character. So that's very useful as well. Uh, and you'll have to keep an eye on that. All right. You'll notice that all the voice acting is from the anime, so I'm basically talking over it. It's all uh, Japanese voiceover because there is no English voice cast for the game as of yet, and there probably never will be because we haven't even seen Season 2 of Attack on Titan. So all the game is going to be in subtitles at the bottom right. I'll do my best to explain what's going on as we play, as I have played a good chunk of the story so far. Uh, but right now we're just doing mainly a training scenario and learning how to fight. This is uh, a good ways into the anime as well. The game takes place uh, in the anime version, not the manga version of the story. Uh, so logistians and items. Pressing circle near a logistian will allow you to replenish your items. Items held can be used by pressing the up key uh, or left and right directions can also be used to switch between different items. Uh, very similar in the vein of actually Monster Hunter, how you tab through all those things. So you see that your gas will deplete and your blades will break down on the bottom left of the screen. So we've used a good amount of that stuff. Uh, and thankfully there's no fall damage, so whenever you fall, you're perfectly fine. You don't have to slow down your speed or anything like that. Just a very, very easy going game when it comes to the controls. And uh, now we just press up. You'll see on the left there. Oh, it wants us to use our blades. So uh, we're going to replenish our blades. And then we're going to replenish our gas. There's other items in the game other than gas and blades. But for now, this is pretty important to have. So as you can see, a bunch of our allies have just popped in on map. It says appearance on the side. We'll be seeing a lot of that in the actual main game. And now it's become a competition to see who can kill as many titans as possible. This is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, it's actually pretty difficult to get maximum subjugations because your allies are very good about taking them all on as fast as they can. So let's see if we can actually get a S rank for this mission because it's pretty difficult. And once again, I'm actually missing. There we go. <laughs> I find these dummies are actually more difficult to kill than real titans, which is interesting, to say the least. Alright, let's get behind the guy and charge on in. There we go, nice little clean kill there. Always a good idea to... Oh, man, gotta, gotta boost in if you're not fast enough. I gotta remember that my gear is actually very low level right now. Your gear levels up uh, by collecting parts from titans. So, we had the lowest level gear, training gear. And the real speed is, well, real slow. So, for now, we have to kind of deal with it. Try and go as fast as I can, though. Obviously, if we're attaching to trees and stuff, if we go between trees, our uh, wires will get caught up. And we won't be able to do damage here. Oh, man, I'm a little too close, but maybe we'll get him. Oh, hey, we got him anyway. Thanks to the boost speed. Again, it's always a good idea to know when to boost and when not to boost. There we go. Working out pretty well so far. You'll see that everyone's quite spread out on the map, trying to figure out how to kill Titans. As long as we're adamant about taking the nape out easily, we should be all right. All right, let's get in there. Oh, there was a tree in the way. Let's get in there. Come on. You're mine now. Excellent. Let's get in there, and another one for us. We got three minutes, 30 seconds left. See Rainer over there. All the characters are, of course, from the anime slash manga that I'll be running into. Unfortunately, no uh, character creation for the multiplayer, though. I feel like that would be perfect, because a lot of the characters do seem to be kind of randomly generated in some way or another. Uh, when it comes to, like, expedition modes and all that stuff, where you're just playing random skirmishes against the, uh, the Titans and exploring the world to get better parts for your gear. As you can see there, I wasn't supersonic, so I didn't actually do full damage to the nape. If I had a better weapon, though, doing a lighter attack like that probably would have killed him off pretty easily. And as you can see, my oxygen is actually out, so we're going to have to replenish that gear uh, in just a second here. Let's go over to this resupplier. Logistian. Thank you. I'm going to replenish my weapons. Obviously, we're on hard mode, right? So we're going to be 
running out of our gear a little bit faster. If this was a normal difficulty, we would probably still have, like, half of our oxygen tank, I think, left over. There we go. And... One more over here. I want to get them before everyone else does, because as you can see on the mini-map, all the allies that are blue are actually my opponents in this case, because they're all trying to get the, uh, the Titans as well. There's a couple more over here, so let's try and get him. Gotta ang ourselves just right. We might actually pull it off and get a win here. And we might get an S rank, which I'd be pretty excited for. Final subjugation, and that's ours. Nice! We actually did it! Usually it's Mikasa that just destroys everyone else. え。じゃあ、そんなに点数が大事かよ。当たり前だろ。憲兵団に志願できるのは成績上位10人だけなんだ。俺たちは真面目に訓練をやり抜いて、内地で快適に暮らすんだ。のう。あいや、僕は何のための
Uh, Alright, so we get our S rank reward as well as all these clear rewards. So you get different items depending on uh, the mission itself. Uh, so for example, we're getting D rank items. So D rank is the lowest rank so far. Uh, and then we have low quality rare metal, which is just some other gear that you normally wouldn't get uh, by doing the mission normally. You also get items by ripping off certain parts of a Titan. So that's also important to note. Uh, definitely important that you get as many items as possible so you can level up as much gear as possible as you progress through the story. And then we have restorative has been added to the items in usable battle, or to items usable in battle. Excuse me, I cannot read. Uh, these are like heal items, potions, and all that stuff. Allows you to not get killed after you get grabbed by a titan and squished to nothing. Squished to paste. Uh, so here's the cadet corps. A regiment created in order to train recruits hoping to join one of the three main regiments. Cadets who join will live together in regional training grounds as they learn omnidirectional mobility techniques, close quarters combat techniques, supply transportation, horsemanship, and more. Courses and techniques and tactics are also taught. Those deemed unsuitable to be soldiers, as well as those who decide they do not wish to continue, leave the cadet corps and return to the frontiers or elsewhere. After graduation, only the cadets who place in the top 10 among their peers are allowed to apply for the military police regiment. ハッ。本日をもって訓練兵を卒業する貴様らには3つの選択肢がある。壁の強化に努め、各町を守る、集団兵団、犠牲を確保して壁外の巨人領域に挑む、調査兵団。そして、王のもとで民を統制、秩序